Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' Crack and it's D. About to react to this vid. Apparently, DDG got into it with Joe Budden um, about this breakup with Hallie. I, I don't know <laughs> what's happening anymore. It's just a lot going on after this whole breakup situation. He has gotten a lot of attention lately, and Hallie ain't saying nothing. She's just somewhere minding her business, take care of that little baby, and um, DDG is just spiraling online and I feel like he's also using this to his advantage just you know all the clips that have surfaced recently with him on podcasts and stuff he's definitely like taking advantage of this which I'm not surprised he does this um so you know this is just who he is which may have contributed to the end of their relationship to be honest maybe she was over it but who knows all speculation anyway let's see what uh ddg had to say well we're also going to hear what joe budden had to say as well because i don't i don't know what he had to say let's watch oh man ddg is on timing not only is ddg fed up with the disrespect but he wants you guys to put some respect on his name so i skimmed through it and we're going to hear what joe budden said after ddg's response because this is like the follow-up video pretty much but in the original video, he included what Joe said as well. So we're just going to watch this one. Now, if you guys did not watch the last yeah. video, please make sure you guys go check it out. But today on the Joe Budden podcast, episode 764, Joe Budden spoke on DDG breaking up with Halle publicly. And he called him a cloud chaser. He also made claims that DDG is not relevant <laughs> enough for him, while also dismissing any of his musical accolades. Now, it's never wise to disrespect somebody just because you are not familiar with that yeah. person. This I'll internet is really huge. Sure. I don't know if you guys really know this. There there's a lot of Especially creators, a lot of happen. rappers, a lot of different people that you might not have come across, but doesn't mean they're bums. Now, DDG went on Twitter to respond back to Joe. He told Joe, yo, pump it up, Wayne Gold, after 20 years, you old bitch at Joe Budden, I'm on you. Now, you guys all know Pump It Up was Joe Budden's biggest hit. It was recently certified gold on August 30th, 2023. And then he compares it to his songs that's not only gone gold, but also platinum as well. Then he says, I don't be tripping about the girl saying shit because I'm used to it. It's all love. But you niggas with platforms gonna get a response for show. Sure. Nigga got 30 years maximum of life left. Oh my gosh, DDG, stop. And speaking on the relationship. I always find this to be very goofy. Like, nigga, you also are gonna get old. If you're lucky, you'll get old. So it's just such a weird. <laughs> it's just such a weird argument. You could call somebody broke because. You know, you can you can die rich. You know, you can have money your whole life and die a, a rich man. But calling someone old as you're getting older by the day, just I, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. Ship of people the same age as your son you don't even take care of. I hope you oh. forget to take your magnesium pills today, you know. old bitch at Joe Budden. God care, damn. Now Joe reacted, he put LOL, and then said, I love this place. Now, if you guys know DDG, he does not get out of character. You never see him get online talking crazy and talking tough like this. Obviously, what? he felt like what Joe said about him That's was not only out of, seen him say out a lot of pockets, shit. but it was just downright disrespectful. And I get it. Not Joe really is a podcaster, it. so some of that stuff, he has to be entertaining with it. But there is a fine line between being entertaining and also being disrespectful to somebody that you don't know now if i'm ddg i'm gonna show you what a real cloud chaser is i'm getting on my brand new podcast that i'm trying to get off the ground mm -hmm. and i'm going to speak on this situation not only that but i damn near might just crash out now i do have to note these two guys have a friend in common that person is academics don't be surprised if at some point you guys see the dg on the joe button podcast and vice versa but you guys get in the comments below what do you guys think or wasn't even announced like okay the, the lights okay. cut off and the show started and that it just, just ran sound, out that sounds like a favor and i was like last minute show. i literally thought the show thought because gunner didn't what have it oh, that sounds like a favor. and i was why does mom like, like okay the, the lights cut off I'll see you guys later, man. Wasn't even announced. Like, okay. The, the lights cut off and the show started and that it just ran out. That sounds like a favor. And I was like, it's a last minute show. I literally thought the show thought, because Gunner didn't have, it didn't announce that he had an opener. 
So I'm like, this is how the show started. I'm like, I don't know this song. Though. That remind me of when a stray cat got in the house one time. <laughs> like, didn't announce himself. I was just waking up to get some snacks. <laughs> 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 like, what the fuck you getting in, nigga? What the fuck you doing? In the fuck left the door open. Looking for a snack, too. Oh, shit, I was in DDG performance. <laughs> but again, they knew it, so. Absolutely. That's what I matters. think very lowly of a lot of the crowds that attend some arena shows, so. That doesn't have to be anything. <laughs> I think very lowly of some of the crowd that attend these arena shows. And so, them knowing the words don't do nothing for me. I'm very happy that they have broken up, so I don't get to keep seeing this nigga's name attached to this girl's name when I don't know him from nothing. I think people are weird for that, though. Saying you're happy or you're celebrating the end of their relationship is just peak misery. Like, what? I personally don't give a fuck. I don't care whether they stayed together, broke up, did not care. I'm going to report on whatever's happening this is my job <laughs> okay we, we're gonna speak on it we're gonna talk about it you know i'll give my opinions based on what is presented but as far as like whether they're together or married or what i don't give a fuck so you know i i get this is his job but you do make it personal when you make certain comments like this and say i'm happy that they broke up like it is just giving misery but joe button is he seems like a miserable person to be honest most of the time um, I mean, I don't keep up with him like that, but based on the things that I see, it just does come across like he's just grumpy and just dissatisfied with life. So he may need to dig a little deeper. <laughs> Sounds like he's having a personal issue to some degree. But yeah, I do find it very weird when people are celebrating the end of their relationship. That's strange. As a standalone. And for me... It just gives, I'm not happy, so I don't want to see anybody else in a loving relationship. <laughs> That's what it gets. Because what? important to know people based off their own name and merit and what they have done. I don't even know enough about her. Like, I'm not her demo. Right. I'm not her demo either. But every time I see his name, it's attached to hers. And it's typically in some type of clout chaser fashion. So that makes me look at him a different way. And hopefully I get to look at him a lot less now that they've broken. That I will agree with though. It does give that he's been riding her coattails. Let's be honest. And I'm not taking anything away from his accomplishments and his music. I'm sure, you know, he has a solid fan base who enjoys, you know, uh, the music that he puts out. But let's not play stupid. When he's talked about in like the blogs and stuff and when people are having these discussions about him, they're not discussing his music. They're talking about his relationship with Haley. okay? That's been the situation. So it does give that he has noticed that obviously and he's tried to capitalize off of that and i'm not gonna say that's not smart because from a business standpoint standpoint it is but just looking at it you do kind of look like a corny nigga who's riding the wave of his of his chick that is how it comes across like he does look kind of corny and then you're using your baby for cloud and you know putting your baby out there for content like it does give corny so i mean that's just my opinion on it that's just how i view it but yeah <laughs> I, I don't i don't see any lies in joe stating that it's extremely high profile she's high profile very high and very talented but i'm just i'm just stuck this on catapulted his why career. is the nigga putting that statement out well he's not done putting statements out oh. well because he ain't look down at his dick Niggas with penises shouldn't speak that way. Hey, if you got a dick, when you pick up your phone, you shouldn't say, after careful consideration, me and my partner have decided to part ways. Please wish and give us the privacy that we carefully desire. And Niggas pick up in real life. Well, what would Niggas his dick just, have said? You got to cast your What your dick would do? You gotta what would your dick do in this post, scenario? Post, post, <laughs> post a future quote. <laughs> We'll post a future quote. We'll post no, future academics talked about this, and I agree with why he did that. So that when he pops out with another chick, nobody is trying to demonize him and saying that he's cheating. So, it's just by my by my dog or my the mirror that everybody. You know, knows I wonder mine. did he know? Go to a rooftop I'll somewhere. Go to Turks. Go somewhere mm -hmm. with people in a pool. Look like you're having fun, unbothered. Oh this yeah, because that usually works out. That I mean, value, that I, mean I like that route better. Okay. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not speaking That's to its child measure child. of effectiveness, okay. but I like that route better. And if you were confused, he's still going. Okay, well, right wait, the second. what's the wait, next? What? Right the second. He's still going. He says, I am a grown man. Uh -huh. I can make my own decisions. Uh -huh. We chose to split because of personal oh, reasons. Fake, nah, it's not a skit. I'm not hurt. 
and I'm not missing out on anything. And her head game is trash as fuck. Uh, Stop it. Stop it. It's not, it does as not say that. As long as my son good, I'm good. Give me your phone. You I lying have, your I have, ass I have. He didn't say her head game, nothing. No, he didn't say that. So now, back to this DDG is a popular rapper and streamer thing, and he stands on his own. Whatever y'all was saying before that, I had it out. <laughs> go ahead. Go, go. What are we saying? Yeah, that now, with this new information, what? continue to rep for DDG and I'm sure. Nobody's like repping, but. And then we can get to the Usher part of this. What the part. fuck is wrong? Yo, bring men back. I just told you, you gotta look at his dick. <laughs> no, he don't have it. He gotta go find it. He gotta go get that from somebody got his dick. <laughs> Wait, so See, she, I, I, hold on, hold on. Has she said a word? A she hasn't said anything. The, the only thing that the blogs noticed in between these two. Peace. Widely just different messages is that they both unfollowed each other. Uh, and it's just like, oh, fuck, for And reason. you saying her head game is trash. Niggas is gonna go get their own account. Yeah, we figure it out. No, they gonna go find it on their own, number one. And number two, if it was that trash, why you snatch that cherry so fast, my boy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if her head was as bad as you say, that cherry didn't levitate long. <laughs> Before you got in action, DDG. First thing, we'll let him know, too. Hey, you know what I know? Lie. You know the DDG I know? That was Jake the Snake's finishing move. It's the DDT. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. <laughs> know the DDG I know? That's what Jake the Snake got real bad. That's what he did you like. Oh, really my bad. I just think their homeboy is presenting himself to be a clout, a clout chaser for the term of the relationship. And How old is he? Huh? How old is he? He's like 26. 26. Something like that. It tracks. I thought we were going to come in and talk about how kids be haters sometimes, but... I don't know why I thought DDG was younger, but now he has been making content for a long time. I don't know why he acting... And, and, are you turning 27 soon? <laughs> because you're not going to be able to get that old that old insult off a little, uh, too much longer. <laughs> Cause now you you kind of like leaning into the late twenties, and then when you in your late twenties, people are automatically like, "Oh, you pushing 30. So that's very interesting that he getting it off. I'm surprised that he's twenty six saying that. I would expect that from somebody under twenty five for sure, for sure. Actually, under twenty three. <laughs> you know, so. Mm. Like the baby. That's the thing. Yeah, I, I didn't know he was that old. Not sure. that old, obviously, well, I, but I salute you, nigga. Stay <laughs> through the, know he was stay that through age. the postpartum. Daryl Dwayne Granberry. Yeah, Yo, your name is Granberry. <laughs> <laughs> Junior. That's him. You know what my thing is with these <laughs> niggas that's on the rise and they want to go get with the chick with some notoriety that's also on the rise. Salute, by the way. Whenever that relationship fails, I never see them bounce back with something that's going to get shorty upset. I normally nah. never hear from them again in the dating room. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to ever hear about DDG and his next chick. Good luck, DDG. This will be your first and last time being mentioned on this broadcast <laughs> for the rest of eternity. You gotta weigh the pros and cons of leaving your famous girlfriend to get all the press. Mm. I mean, that was a little harsh, but Joe is usually harsh, so <laughs> that doesn't really surprise me. But here's the thing. Uh, I don't know why DJ got his feelings so so much. People are always going to have opinions about you, especially when you are making all these things public and it, it, it seems he likes the attention and he puts things out there so he can be talked about so you can't go chasing this clout get the clout and then get mad when people are discussing you that's what comes along with the clout <laughs> um so i i do agree that his antics do come across uh clout chasey and you can say oh he he got clout exactly but he has to keep that up people don't just have clout permanently no you have to continue to do things to keep that clout so some people who already do have clout they they still are chasing the clout so i do you know agree with that um standpoint i feel like he does do that and i feel like that's all he knows because you know he comes from youtube and it's like okay it's all about getting numbers and getting people talking and getting people to watch and doing over the top things so people can stay interested so i can keep getting money from this so that is his angle so I, i'm confused why he's getting so pressed <laughs> when people are giving you exactly what you wanted i do wonder if he knew that this relationship would 
catapult his his career to the next level because Haley is popular, but I feel like when they got together, was she? Because I feel like this relationship has uh, really elevated both of their careers, honestly, as far as like, I don't know about their careers. I would say it, it elevated their popularity because people talk about them quite a bit ever since they got in a relationship together. Um, but I wondered, was he thinking like, hmm, just basically, I wonder if he have ulterior motives. That it just makes me think, you know, considering just how he moves overall, it's like. And I'm not saying that he just get with her only because of that, but I do wonder if that was, you know, considered and was that a plus? Like, oh, she's this, this, and that, you know. But I don't know the details of their relationship or their situation. But you know, I wish I wish them well. I hope they can go on and heal um, after this, and I hope they can co-parent. Um, in a healthy manner, but yeah, this is them uh, beefing Joe Budden and DDG. I guess y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.